Have you ever lost your phone? Sucks, doesn't it? Well, if your phone's an Android phone, then keep watching, because I'm going to show you a tool to help you find your device should it ever get lost. And chances are, you already have it. In this video, I'm going to show you the Android Device Manager. So, what is Android Device Manager? Well, it's a service from Google to help you locate your Android devices. It could help whether your device is lost in your house, across town, or across the country. It could even help you wipe your device of all your personal data in the event that it's either hopelessly lost or, worse, stolen from you. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it is highly likely that you already have this on your Android phone. Any Android device with Android version 2.2 or higher should have it. And keep in mind that you will need to be logged into your Google account for it to all work. Let's take a quick look at the setup. Because even though your phone may already have it, sometimes it just isn't fully set up from the factory. So let's make sure your phone is able to be found and wiped if the day ever comes. Go into your apps and find the Google Settings app. Open it up and go to the security section. From there, you should be able to see two settings for Android Device Manager. Depending on your phone, they may already be turned on. If not, then turn them on. With both of these options turned on, your device is ready to be found and wiped should it ever be lost or stolen. So, when it's time to locate your device, you could do so on a computer using the Android Device Manager website or on another Android device using the Android Device Manager app. I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you the website first. Now, your first question may be, how do I get there? Well, it's on the screen right now, and I will put a link in this video's description. But for those times when you don't have this video, you can go to the Google Play Store and click the gear icon on the right side. From there, just select Android Device Manager. And of course, you could always Google search for Android Device Manager. <laughs> Go figure. Once you get to the website, go ahead and log in with your Google account. When you get in, you'll see this screen. This will be where you could find your device. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is that huge map that fills the screen. Now, keep in mind that the map I'm showing you here is zoomed way out from my own privacy, but in reality, it could actually zoom down to the street and even the house level. On the left, you'll find all the controls. I'll go ahead and tell you about them now. If you have multiple Android devices, you could select which one you want to work with by using this down arrow. If your device shows up with some kind of weird name, you could rename your device by using this pencil icon. If you've lost your device somewhere where you're at, like your house, you could ring your device with this button. Your device will ring for five minutes, or until you find it and turn it off. If your device is lost somewhere far away, then you could lock it with a password. This way, you're the only person that could unlock it. Like it says here, don't use your Google password. When you find your phone, just enter the password to unlock it. The last button is the Erase button. This basically does a factory reset of your device, getting rid of all your personal information off of it. This should be considered a last resort. This is for when you've truly exhausted your search or if the device is definitely stolen from you. Once you do this, you won't be able to track the device anymore. Should you get the device back, it won't have any of your pictures or music or anything like that. Now that I've shown you the website, let's go ahead and move on to the Android app. As you may imagine, you could just download it from the Google Play Store. The app is basically the same thing as the website version. You got the map and all the buttons that the website version has. One thing I do want to mention here is that when you open up the app, it gives you this warning, and I just want to say it again here. If your device is stolen from you, please, please don't go after it yourself. Look, there's some pretty awful people out there, and it's not worth risking injury or even worse, to p maybe find your device. Another feature of the app is guest login. This lets you temporarily log into your Google account on a device that isn't yours. 
The reason for this feature is so that if you lose your device, you can quickly borrow somebody else's Android device and find yours. One last feature that was just added to the app is the ability to ring your phone from an Android Wear watch. Just tap on the watch face to bring up your apps and select Find My Phone. Obviously, your watch will need to be in Bluetooth range for this to work. So, that's Android Device Manager. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's good to know that it's there if you do. Now this is my first Android video that wasn't about my old Samsung Vibrant device from years ago. This will not be my last Android video though, so if you want to see more, please press that subscribe button so you get all my new videos on the front of your YouTube page. I also make how-to videos like how to turn a bag of chips into a touchscreen stylus for your phone, and I got plenty of cool stuff coming out in the future. So if you want to check that all out, again, please press that subscribe button. I want to thank you so much for watching. Till the next video, stay safe. Have a good one out there.